So there's two super important things when working with a table saw. Number one is that your fence is perfectly aligned with your blade. Okay, now you'll notice right here that it's just moving the blade, right? And then on the back side, it's not. So that means that this, there is a little bit of space there. It's kind of important how much is that. The fence is a hair that way, okay? Right there, it's touching, not touching, but I'm putting barely any pressure on that. And then we go to this side, right here. And it just rubs the blades. Look at that. So a hundred dollar bill moves it and then it doesn't. Five thou, four and a half thou. So that, that is calibrated perfect in my book. Number two is to wax your surface. This, the slicker it is, the smoother it is, the easier stuff is gonna glide through. At the beginning of cutting a kitchen, I will completely wax this whole thing, including this. I don't bother with, the, with that further out feed, but even that would help probably. When you're putting material through, you want your, this, is your pressure is at an angle to this fence and you glide it through like that and you don't stare at the blade and not look at this. You can have your blade in your peripheral vision but you, you gotta keep this at a consistent pressure against the fence especially in this area where the saw blade is. So that's critical. The thing is a sliding table saw is perfect for cabinet making, but you can do it as well on a regular table saw. And I've made this work. You just need a big surface to be able to do it. Okay, you need definitely your out feed. You need to build a table around it. You should have up to 48 inches here for your rip cutting wide pieces. To me, that's almost a must. I suppose you could get away with uh, smaller and cut your parts down using a track saw. Um, that is one way you could do it. One advantage of having a uh, setup like this with a table saw and a big workspace and outfeed area on it is that uh, you can actually now build stuff on your table saw. You have a work surface. If you have a slider or what's called a sliding table saw, this entire space would not be usable for building things in a small shop. So I think that this has a, an advantage over the slider for some small shops like this one where your space is limited and your slider would be purely dedicated to cutting. So this way now we can assemble some things or have longer countertops we're working on or cabinets, whatever you want you can do on this surface on the uh, this platform that was built specifically so that we could cut larger uh, panels to build cabinets with. Um, that I think is uh, an advantage over the slider my, myself. Uh, and I've had a slider before. And don't get me wrong, it has its place and they can be faster, uh, especially for cutting small pieces off of long panels. 
So hopefully that's good advice or take, take it for what you want, but uh, hopefully that helps. Okay. Not only does it need to be parallel with the blade, but you want your readout and your measurements to be here. Stop measuring like this. Don't do this. Don't be one of these guys that's always measuring like that. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's just, <laughs> you repeat that so many times and you've just wasted a lot of time. So take your time, get this fence perfectly so that it reads out on your tape the actual measurement that you're gonna be using. Do not settle for a saw that doesn't have a good fence or you can get an aftermarket fence. You will save so much time in the future. I mean, untold amounts of time. Okay, something to look out for on longer panels is that sometimes you, there'll be a staple in the edge. The other thing is to make sure there's no like uh, dirt or anything like embedded in there because you had it sitting on the floor. So double check that edge before you run it through the saw because that could really screw you up. No guard on there, that's kind of a no-no. So I had purchased this and then the attachments, they forgot or didn't send me them. So those are being sent and I'll be able to set that up and hook it up. That's why I have this here. I'm getting ready to have that on like a swivel or something and uh, with a riving knife in the back. So definitely dust collection is one thing. I have it underneath so it does collect like at least half the dust. So this is set up. It's getting ready to go with dust collecting here. Well, I hope you got something out of that. It's very appreciated that you stuck it out to the end. Um, if you would uh, do me a favor and hit the uh, thumbs up button, that would be great. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of content. And I'll see you on the next one. Okay.